racing so hard. Oh, there she is. Oh, why are you twitching, Claire? Nope. Nope. Don't like that. Don't like that. It's like it's prolonging something. Oh! At night, when the earth had already settled into darkness, Dan woke up from unusual sounds coming from the depths of his house. Concerned about his sister, he decides to check on her. Entering her room, he discovers that she's disappeared. Fear confronts him, and he begins to rush around the house in search of her. So this has been suggested a lot by you guys lately, and from what I can tell, it looks like a kind of claustrophobic style horror, which are always just horrifying. So <laughs> here we go with Fatal Midnight. My parents went on vacation and I was left to look after my sister. She has some problems. Sometimes she's very strange, so I have to look after her. Everything was fine until I heard strange noises in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's always bad. That's always, always bad. Oh, what is that sound? Damn those sounds. My sister's probably feeling bad again. I have to check on her. Yep. I mean, if our parents have gone away on vacation. Oh, this is actually the perspective. Oh, that's so weird. I thought it was going to snap from like an intro sequence and then like fill the screen out. But no, this is what we get. <laughs> that's so strange. Okay, so. As if it wasn't horrifying enough. The way you guys have described this basically being like a claustrophobic style horror in a house. I gotta contend with this weird field of view too. Can we open stuff? There we go. Yeah, this reminds me of something that you'd see in like an M. Night Shyamalan movie or something, you know, like a flashback or something like that. Oh, I can hear footsteps out there. Oh, there's like a depth of field on it too. Oh, and it's all grainy as well. <laughs> Is she breathing? I don't know her name. I don't need to go down there. I need to check on my sister first. We'll go down here. What's my sister's name? I don't know her name. Who? It's strange that she's not there. I need to find her and ask how she is. Oh. Yeah, I've just got chills. I can't hear anything now. There was like slight noises. Oh, look at the floorboards all ripped up and everything. I think it's coming from downstairs. I'm going to call her Claire. Makes me feel better. Not knowing the name makes it so much worse. Claire! <laughs> Please don't jump out. Please. <laughs> oh, there's a light on there. Okay, before we go in there, I'm going to check this one. Just so we've gone through everywhere first. Washroom or something. You know what I always get scared of with stuff like this? When it's super quiet and you're opening doors and things and you see like a cabinet or anything like that. Something being lay on the top of that. You know, just in that like thin space contorted and just looking down. Oh my, yeah, I'm having nightmares tonight. 100%. <laughs> I am 100% having nightmares tonight. Wait, what part of the house is this? Wait, let me close that. I'm so confused. This house is massive. All right, let's try this way. Do we not have a flashlight or anything? No. We're just left in the darkness of this dingy, run-down home. Claire, don't you start scaring the shit out of me now. Please. Please. This is bad enough as it is. <laughs> Let's check all the rooms, and then we'll head down. I think I can hear somebody singing. Look at that bathtub. Oof. We don't have a reflection. That's why she's so weird. We're all vampires. Door on the right. I can definitely hear something like... You know when someone's been crying, and they do that like sound like they're breathing in the sharp inhale i can hear that oh, 
that's such a creepy room too. Is this our parents spot? Is that, is that where dad works? Okay, we're hearing some stuff coming from downstairs. We gotta go. I like the look of it though, for how weird it is. Oh sh <gasps> what? Claire, you're around. She's probably not replying because it's not a name. Whoa. Okay, that was just in the other room. Yeah, sometimes the, the depth of field can play, can play tricks on you. Did something just knock on that? Whoa. Oh my god, oh, what is that? that? That's her, isn't it? That looked like a nun. That looks delicious as well. Some spaghetti and meatballs. She's gonna be doing that. She's gonna be running around the house and I've gotta find different parts of where she's hiding and she's gonna pop out and scare the ever living shit out of me, isn't she? No, Claire, don't do this, please. Having a little look around. Try and calm the nerves a bit. Because I don't know what that was that I saw. That that definitely wasn't my sister, though. I'm going to open everything up. Okay, we can sprint to it. It's strange these doors were open before. <laughs> I wouldn't be that calm. It's strange these doors were open before. <laughs> Kick them in. Make sure they haven't got any hinges left. <laughs> Turn them into splinters. Claire, please! Yeah, this is really creepy. These are some of the best horrors for me, though. I will admit, like, I really genuinely do think I get the most scared in stuff like this. The contained horror. Don't you dare jump out. Okay, right, let's check this door. A lot of uh, pictures on the walls of people. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not going down there yet. No way. What's this? Open everywhere up. Okay. Oh, sh oh. Stop. Please stop, 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 stop. No. I'm opening this door first. If that would have been the ultimate bait then for me to open that one first and then something appeared there. Right, let's have a look in. Oh, oh my god, what? You're in there, aren't you? Oh, what's going on? No? Oh, I can open things like this? If you guys have seen The Conjuring with the uh, the Enfield haunting, where the person's in like the walls, like all contorted and stuff, like around all the pipes and the wires and things. Yeah, if we get that in this, I might actually die. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. Wait, are we stuck? No. Oh. Weird, weird atmosphere right now. Slow, methodical build-up. Can taste the tension. Turn the TV off. <sighs> Claire! Oh, the slow movement and the twitching. Oh, that made me jump. She's probably gone to the basement. I need to follow Oh, it is. That's what I could hear before. It's her crying. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, okay. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I don't see anything. The light is out. I need to find a flashlight on the second floor near the computer. Oh, good. <gasps> that's so bad. That's so terrifying to me. Oh, yeah, that's right. So the computer's in this room over here. What? You're up here now? Don't you j jump out of me, please. Claire, don't hide in the shadows. This is the room where the flashlight is, okay? Where is it, though? Near the computer? No idea where... Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's actually a good flashlight, too! Oh, it's got that movement. Oh, okay. I know what you guys were saying now. Okay. <laughs> so, seeing as though I've got a flashlight now, and my heart rate has definitely come down a little, the reason why that basement scared me so much was because when I was a kid, my friend's sister was babysitting us, and he had one of those cellars. It wasn't a very big one, but he had one, which is kind of weird for where we live. And I had to go down there in order to get the DVD collection because they didn't keep it in like the living room or anything. And they locked me in when I was a kid. And it scared me half to death. So anytime I see that with the lights off, I instantly get flashbacks of that. <laughs> it's like trauma when I was a kid. <laughs> to be fair, I probably would have done the same to him, so I don't blame him. Right, let's get down there. It's this one here, right? Wait. Yeah. Oh, this flashlight is actually really nice. All the lumens. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Claire. Where are you hiding? Oh, I still really can't see anything, though. No. Oh, Claire, please don't run out of me like that, please. Oh, this is a massive basement as well. Racing so hard. Oh, there she is. Oh, why are you twitching, Claire? Nope. Nope. Don't like that. Don't like that. It's like it's prolonging something. Oh! <laughs> I called it. I called it as well. Fucking fuck, what was that? There was clearly something wrong with that, yep. <sighs> Super cheap, but oh my god, that scared me so bad. I screamed so bad, all the air left my lungs, and you probably just heard like a quick jolt, and then I leaned back, and that was it. Did I hear footsteps run off, or was that my imagination? Let's check around here. Oh, we may as well just check everywhere now. The heart rate's spiking at like 300. <laughs> Anything's gonna happen. It's gonna be now. Oh, I can hear you up there. Why are you doing this, Claire? Why? Your parents have gone on vacation. I've been super nice to you. And all you want to do is run around this creepy home, scaring me half to death. Oh, please don't jump out of me here. Oh, no, the lights are off. First, my sister knocks me out, and then the lights go out. Fucking great. What? I'm closing that. Where was the phone? I don't remember that. Oh, it was in the main living room. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember where it was. With all, like, the magazines and stuff. I can't move. Hey, son, I know what happened to her. Go to your room. Under the bed, there is something that will help you. <laughs> That's the TikTok voice. I need to go to my room. There's something under the bed that will help me. Okay. 
There's a hundred percent the TikTok voice. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> the one that has like inspirational quotes or the did you know facts and stuff. Oh my god! <gasps> I don't know if you guys caught that. She went from right to left in the blink of an eye. She was in full sprint. Don't you dare be leaning over this banister. <gasps> no. Is that where our parents are? They're away making TikToks. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, I tapped out the game. That scared me so bad. At least you guys can see what scared me though. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, right. Yep. You know what I usually say when I get scared so bad my hand cramps up? <laughs> that was a perfect example of it right there. What are you doing, Claire? Please. Oh, this is so bad. Wait, is that which room am I supposed to be going in? I can hear movement in that room to my left, so I'm not going in there. Face your fears. Face your fears. No? I really didn't pay attention to what it said. Something about under a bed. There's something I can use. That's where the bathroom is. Something is very, very, very wrong here and I don't like it. Claire, don't you be stood in a corner, please. No? Oof. I mean, I'll be completely honest. You guys know I'm procrastinating for a second here, but I'll be completely honest. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but this definitely has something going for it. The small sounds that you're hearing off when your back is turned to it. Ooh. Can we not close? Oh, there we go. I was looking through these before for the torch before I eventually came across it, which was right where it said it would be. <laughs> I can hear breathing in there. Nope, not going in there. Nope. Let's go back this way. Oh, this is so bad. This would genuinely be a nightmare for me. I... Oh my god, you were on the roof! <gasps> Close the door. This is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, claustrophobic horrors I don't do well with. I mean, I don't do well with most horrors, but they, I'm so much worse with these. Under the bed? Don't grab my leg, please. Eh? What am I supposed to be looking for? I've got no idea. What's this? Don't be in here. <laughs> oh, Claire, please don't. Can I just go out the window? Oh, wait. Can you actually just leave? No? Now that I know she can climb on the roof too, oh, this is so much worse. I always say that to you guys. If I see something crawling on all fours or if I see something like sprinting from left to right. And this has had it all so far. Oof. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for, guys. I really don't. Let me close this. Close my door. No. Oh, what? That wasn't there a second ago. Oh. Oh, nice. Wait. Wait, what? So I just pick up my speakers. Oh, do we think she's possessed or something and we're panicking? <sighs> oh, that's so bad. Claire, stop running! I can hear her walking around the first floor. I need to find her. Okay, so she's downstairs. Claire, don't you dare sneak up on me, okay? Yeah, she's downstairs. I think.
Oh. Oh, this is so bad. I I'm hunting her in the dark. Oh! Claire, hold still! Where did you go? I've got goosebumps everywhere on my body right now. The little pitter pats of her running around is so bad. Oh! Reload! What's she doing? Oh, she like stumbled. Like, did I stagger her then? What the hell is going on? What, what is this? I can't hear her anymore. She over here? She's here. Oh shit, whereabouts is she in that? I, I can't tell. There's like... The audio is so weird. <gasps> Let go! Reload. Why would we immediately go from... Looking after our sister, thinking she's now possessed, to breaking out the shotgun. Well, maybe some people would, but... <laughs> oh my god! Okay, no, I know why. Yep, okay, I understand. Come here, Claire. What? However, shortly after this fatal midnight, the police arrive on the scene and arrest Daniel. As it turns out, he has a mental disability and he's taking pills. This led to a tragic incident. In reality, the sister was trying to get away from her brother by hiding to preserve her life. The sister was not possessed by demons. It was Daniel's fantasy. Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm just slowly trying to process what's just happened there because there were moments in this that were genuinely terrifying for me. Going around when the lights were off in this creepy old house, hearing her scurrying around like upstairs, but you couldn't quite work out where she was. And then just seeing her climbing up the walls or sprinting from left to right, and then going down into that basement. Oh my God. There was definitely something there. And then there was the flip side of the coin where there was things like the TikTok voice and then things were a little bit silly with the jump scares. But <laughs> either way, I know you guys know me well enough to know that this would absolutely terrify me, which is what it did. So if you guys want to see more, because I do have a full list that you guys have been suggesting. If you do want to see more, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date, and I'll see you all in the next one.